Why, hello and happy Sunday, everybody. Oh, my goodness, it's a beautiful day in paradise. Oh, we got blue skies and a nice breeze. We're up to about 51 degrees already. Yeah, supposed to get up to maybe 59. Ah, but with a breeze, it's a little chilly outside. Yeah, <clears throat> And I had raked all the leaves out of my pond, scooped them out last night. And of course, the wind is blowing them back in. So, I'm not going to worry about scooping leaves. I've already fed the fish. I've already fed the ducks. I've already fed Goofy Duck. Yeah. In fact, you want to go out? George! George! Here comes the duckies. Da -da 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 -da. There's your buddy, George! Yeah, buddy. All right. I had made myself a wonderful dinner last night using seven Ginny eggs. Yes, since she laid 15 of those for me, I used seven of them, and I made myself potatoes with onions and ham and eggs. And just to show you, that is a jerry egg. Or, yep, this is a jerry egg. <laughs> and that's a jenny egg. Yep. Anyway, I pulled the rest of my apples off the tree. Oh, yum, yum. Because we were getting so cold the other night, I went out and I pulled all the rest of my apples off, and the refrigerator's full. Yeah. Anyway, I got two cards yesterday at the post office. One from Tina Pitt. Thank you, Tina. Go figure she would put ducks on her cards. Yes, we love you too, Tina. Yeah. And Susan sent me some more help for lettuce. Thank you, Susan. You betcha. We love you too. Now... Yesterday, I put together the bird feeder, and I was really impressed right off the bat. That thing is packed in there beautiful. You betcha. <laughs> they did a wonderful job, not only with the manufacturing on that thing and the engineering, but they packed it all in foam. Anyway, I'll show you. I had to put it on a charger for 14 hours before you can do anything else with it, before you can program it to send alerts to your phone, it will send you an alert every time something gets in front of the camera. Well, I need to delete that. <laughs> yeah, that would keep my phone busy all day. Yeah, but the engineering on this thing is amazing. The top opens up like that so you can pour the seeds down inside so around the camera will be seeds visible through the window and it automatically allows them to fill this tray with seeds here and it lets the water go through if it rains on it. Yeah, lets, the, lets it drain so it doesn't rot the seeds right there. But there's a nice little dish that sits right there that you could either put water or you could put jelly in it if you're wanting Orioles. It's got these little things on both sides of that dish that you could stick an orange. Cut an orange in half and put each half on either side and put jelly in the middle for feeding Orioles. The camera tilts so you can access the top of it right there. Yeah. And it has a solar panel that you attach to charge its battery. It mounts several different ways. You can either screw this bracket to the wall, which it's held on there by those, or this could go on top of your railing, and then the camera sits on top of that. And it's adjustable, so you can angle it any direction you want. I'm impressed. Now, the next phase of this is I gotta take the instruction book 
to my nephew today and let him program my phone to talk to the <laughs> to talk to the camera. I am not that technologically advanced. Yeah. It's like if I buy a watch from Walmart and they t change the time, which is coming up here pretty quick. When there's a time change, I take the watch back to Walmart and I say, here, fix it. <laughs> yeah, push this button three times and hold that one for four seconds. No, 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 no. Here, take it back to Walmart. Yeah. Anyway, I'm really impressed by this. I can't wait to test it out. And my neighbors, Gail and Greg, they already want to look at it. And somebody on the channel says they've already got one and they love it. Yeah. Anyway, I'm impressed by everything from the moment I opened the box. Yeah, I've been impressed with it. So I can't wait to test it out. Yeah. And my little chickadees are here. Everybody's busy. Now, oh, somebody asked what kind of seeds I use. Right there. I only use the good stuff. There's no... <laughs> Why buy the cheap stuff when all they do is throw it out of the feeder onto the ground and it grows underneath the feeder? Yeah. That's all kinds of good stuff there. Yeah. They eat every bit of it. They don't waste any of it. Yeah. And if the feeder is close like that one... <laughs> Jerry helps himself too. Herself. Yep. Anyway... And Layla's right outside the door. Yeah. Come on, Layla. Yeah, were you playing with the duckies? George is in his little spot under there. Yeah, George. Anyway, today is Sunday. And I got to give a happy birthday special shout out to Diane. Yeah. Our two sisters from New Jersey. Yeah. Now, I think it was Barbara that said it's Diane's birthday. If I have that backwards, I'm very sorry. I'm assuming that the sisters are not twins or she would have said it's our birthday on Sunday. Yeah. So anyway, happy birthday to Diane. Yeah. George. Hey, George. Mommy loves you. Yes, Daddy loves you. Everybody loves George. George was talking to his mommy this morning. She's busy painting her living room. She had already done half of it, and she was having to move the furniture over to that side so she could paint the other half. And then she's going to work on her floor. But she can't work on the floor on Sundays because they don't allow noise. They have a noise ordinance and you can't use power saws or chainsaws or lawn mowers or any of that stuff in Germany on Sunday. It's supposed to be a day of rest. Gee, maybe I should go to Germany. I could take a rest. Oh my goodness. Everybody's happy. Everybody's been up since early, early, early. Yeah, Mama Girl and the twins came walking through here while George and I were talking to his mom. Yep. Anyway, it's an absolutely beautiful day, and I'm going to be busy, busy, busy. We got to give thoughts and prayers to all the people around the world picking up from a mess. Thoughts and prayers for the Philippines that hurricane that they got there, tropical storm. They got like 130 people dead from that and serious flooding and mudslides. They'll find more people. They're digging through the mud trying to recover people. Yeah, thoughts and prayers for peace in the Middle East. I hope that mess is over with. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the wonderful comments on my videos. Yes, we love you all too. Folks, I read the news. A lot of times I wish I didn't. I get upset just like you do when you read the news. And I'm real happy that we don't have any battles going on on the channel. That's why I don't mention half of what upsets me on the, <laughs> on the news. Yeah, they're just... Bad stuff going on everywhere. But one thing I got to mention 
is they have been arresting people in Florida that were breaking into people's homes whose homes were devastated already by the hurricane, Milton and Helene. And they have been catching a lot of bad people who have no business in those neighborhoods, do not own property in those neighborhoods. They are arresting them, and they should put them in the jail and keep them there. Do not let these guys out on bond. They're bad guys. Yes. People's lives have been turned upside down by those storms, and these guys are in there robbing whatever little is left. And then the other side of that is the home repair scams. They've arrested over a hundred of those guys and all but three of them lived outside of Florida. They came in from out of state to rob people. They come in claiming, oh yeah, I'm a contractor. I'll fix your roof for you. And they take your money and they never come back. Yeah. Put those guys in jail and keep them there. You betcha. Anyway, that that just, oh, that makes my blood boil. Anyway, God bless the sheriff for being proactive on that one. Catch them all. Yeah, those people got a mess and their hearts have already been hurt. And then somebody's going to come in and scam them out of what little money they got left. Yeah, George, bad guys. Anyway, we love you all too. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all your wonderful comments. Come on, George. George, you want to go outside? Come on. The duckies are in the pond, George. Yeah, buddy. We got NASCAR today, George. Oh, buddy. Blue skies in paradise. Yeah. Oh, and George is doing a big bird. Thank you, George. Yeah. Anyway. I'm getting more and more of a view. <laughs> the leaves are falling. And only a percentage of them are making it into my pond. Here comes the quackers. Hi, boys. Yes. Now, when it gets cold enough, the other day I told you, they came up by the food bowls and they flopped down on their belly and they sucked their feet up inside. When it's 20 degrees, they don't. You know, they come out of the pond to eat, but they flop down. Oh, and there's Hazel. Yes, a lot of people love Hazel. One of our people has one just like her. George, you leave her alone. Yes, you don't poke the cat. She loves you. Yes, she, <laughs> she chest bumps him and knocks him around. Yeah. Anyway. Love everybody. Have a wonderful Sunday. Thoughts and prayers to everybody recovering from health issues and suffering health issues. We love you all, too. Yeah, you betcha. Yeah. I thought she was going to rub up against him. Ha, <laughs> George. You're cheeky just like the ducks. Yeah, she says, here, bite that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she chest bumps him all the time. Anyway, love you all. Stay safe. Wash your flippers off and have a wonderful Sunday. Love you. Bye. <laughs>